Om Sum was not the type of kid who just read about space. He lived it. While other kids played video games, Om Sum was building space gadgets out of junkyard scraps and inventing codes that only aliens could understand. One quiet night, with stars scattered across the sky like sugar on velvet, Om Sum's telescope gave a strange huh? ping. Not a regular star sighting ping. This one was different. The screen on his telescope glitched, then displayed one glowing word, Pluto. The telescope sucked him in like a black hole. But instead of darkness, there was a swirl of bright light. Laughter that sounded like comets whizzing by. And the hum of ancient planets whispering secrets. When the spinning stopped, Aum Sum found himself floating inside a spaceship shaped like a question mark. Fitting, really. The ship had one mission to find out why Pluto wasn't considered a planet anymore. Finally, there it was. Pluto. Small, icy, glorious. It spun slowly, wrapped in shadows and mystery. But something huh? was odd. The spaceship's system whispered, Welcome to the Kuiper Belt, home of Pluto and many icy bodies. Pluto wasn't alone. All around, other space objects bobbed and floated. Some were round, some weren't. Some were nearly Pluto's size, like Eris, which gave a frosty nod as the ship zoomed past. Amsam realized this wasn't just Pluto's neighborhood. It was a cosmic crowd. The ship's control panel lit up. Three boxes appeared, each glowing with a question. The first read, does Pluto orbit the sun? That was easy. Omsum pressed the green button. Pluto's orbit appeared on the screen like a glowing path. Check. The second question, is Pluto round? Omsum <laughs> chuckled. He zoomed in on Pluto. It looked like a cosmic pearl, round and proud. Another green button lit up. Check again. Then came the third question. Has Pluto cleared its orbit? The ship paused. A swarm of space debris floated by. Icy rocks, mini-moons, and other objects bumped along Pluto's path. The screen buzzed red. No, the system said gently. Pluto shares its orbit with too many objects. It hasn't cleared its neighborhood. Um Sum's eyebrows shot up. That was it. That was the reason. Even though Pluto was round and orbited the Sun, it hadn't taken charge of its orbit. Unlike planets like Earth or Jupiter that cleared their paths like a bossy space vacuum, Pluto was more like the kid who shared his toys with everyone. A team player, but not quite a leader. Because of that, scientists had to draw the line. They came up with a new category in 2006 and called it Dwarf Planets. Not because they were any less cool, but because they just didn't meet all the planet rules. Pluto, Eris, Ceres, and a few others were now in this special club. Hmm. 